Happy YouTube. I finally mounted the uh, Midnight Solar Kid. Um, I guess it's doing right. I don't know. <laughs> Still playing with it. Uh, anyway, I don't know if you can see. I got it's it's a rainy, cloudy day, so you know. I mean, I don't. Normally, I'm in the 60 volt, 66, 68 volt. I think like 66 volt range is what I usually have coming in. I have, uh, for those that don't know, I have two uh, 240 watt panels, I think. Maybe 245, I forget. I don't know, 240 or 245. So I got almost 500 watts of power coming in. I got those in parallel. Um, tied to these four batteries. I know it's a little, it looks really dark in here. It's not really, I don't know. It's a little, my utility room. Um, I do have four more Trojan six volt batteries I'm about to add to this system. We'll move all these batteries outside. Um, I'm just not real comfortable with, uh, with them being inside and giving off the hydrogen and what have you. Especially since I'm in the utility room and in my drawers in here too. So I got lint and hydrogen. So this is not a good combination. Anyway. <laughs> um, I hadn't really been using it a whole lot. But I've kind of made a commitment to uh, go a little more all out on the solar. Um, I got an inverter that's supposed to be here today. We'll wait and see. I'm not going to talk about it too much. But anyhow, it's one big enough to power up my house pretty much. So... Um, I don't know why it's turning out so dark in here. Anyway, um, yeah, how cameras are. Yeah, there's a breaker box. There's a breaker box for my 110 stuff that I can add, and I'll be filling this up with a that goes over to my breaker panel. I know it looks like a mess, and this is definitely not up to code. <laughs> I'm playing around experimenting, that's why it's such a mess right now. So, anyhow, just a little uh, solar update. Um, I've been using this MPPT 500 from BZ Products. This was a loaner to me, so I got to give this back. I'm like the third or fourth, fourth person to have this. Uh, but it was a good unit, and it still is a good unit. Uh, I thought it was bad. And I bought another one. I bought a Morningstar or TriStar TS45, and I wasn't paying any damn attention. And it's not a MPPT charge controller, hence why it was probably so cheap. It was like 170 bucks. So it's just a backup unit now. I'm just gonna throw it to the side. You know, just I mean, it did charge batteries, but I didn't. I could tell a big difference between the MPPT controller and one that's not. Definitely spend money on the MPPT controller. And that's not a name brand for anybody new. That's the uh, multiple point, blah, 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 multiple point power tracking. I think that's what it stands for. Anyway, go that route. See, so it's more, you know, midnight solar MPPT. Do that, and um, you'll be thankful. Because you'll get more, you'll really a lot more power out of your panels. And it'll be used more efficiently. Like I say, it's a crappy day outside. There's hardly anything coming in. But there is a little something coming in. And I'm very, um, it's actually showing 41 now. I guess it, just, it must be clouds moving in now. But, um. I still got to play around with this thing and figure out what and all it can do. So, but there we go. A little solar update. See you, YouTube. Midnight solar kid.